When we are lost in the center of the Sahara Desert, with only endless yellow sand and the hanging sun in front of us, and no water or food on us, death seems to be our final outcome. However, just when we fell into despair, a green rice field suddenly appeared in front of us. What a surprise it would be! In fact, this is not a plot in a science fiction novel, but an agricultural project realized by Chinese scientists. When China originally planned to plant 8,200 acres of rice in the desert, the news immediately aroused ridicule from many media. So how did Chinese scientists overcome difficulties and successfully grow rice in the desert? Welcome to Word Answer, where you will be able to learn about projects, cooperation around the world and important information about China. Subscribe to us and discover more interesting events around the world. China is one of the countries with the most deserts in the world, covering an area of 700,000 square kilometers. If the more than 500,000 square kilometers of Gobi are included, the total area of the desert will be as high as 1.28 million square kilometers, accounting for 13% of China's total land area. In the last century, China had the idea of turning deserts into farmland and made many efforts in the process. For example, they evolved from the earliest grass grid decertification control to the modern photovoltaic decertification control. After the efforts of tens of millions of people, China has successfully turned 2 million square kilometers of desert into green forests by 2023. These changes also laid the foundation for China to develop agriculture in the desert. In 2009, Yuan Longping, a well-known agricultural scientist at home and abroad, developed a type of rice that can be grown in the desert, sea rice. Sea rice is a rice variety with extremely high salt tolerance and can grow and harvest on saline alkali soil. More importantly, although the yield per mu of land is usually around 75 to 150 kilograms, under very suitable conditions, the yield per mu of sea rice can reach more than 500 kilograms. So which desert in China is most suitable for growing sea rice? What difficulties need to be solved when planting sea rice in the desert? In order to find the answer to this question, Yuan Longping led his team to first analyze and inspect China's deserts. As far as I know, Yuan Longping finally chose the Yulin Pi Desert as the test base. The Yulin Pi Desert covers an area of approximately 150,000 square kilometers, and is the eighth largest desert in China. After determining the target, Yuan Longping quickly started the experiment. However, growing sea rice in desert areas is not easy. First, soil quality in desert areas is often poor, lacking nutrients and organic matter. Secondly, water resources are relatively scarce in desert areas, so effective irrigation measures need to be taken to ensure that seawater rice can obtain sufficient water. More importantly, the high temperature and drought climate in desert areas will affect the growth of plants. In order to deal with these challenges, Yuan Longping's team decided to conduct experiments in stages. It is understood that this experiment is divided into three stages. Among them, the first stage is to plant 80 acres of land first, and improve the desert through accumulating experience to turn it into soil suitable for planting. The subsequent second stage is to expand the scale of sea rice planting and improve sea rice varieties to continuously increase the yield, eventually reaching more than 500 kilograms. As for the final stage, Yuan Longping's team is inspecting the final experimental results to ensure a bumper harvest and achieve a yield of 850 kilograms of rice per mu of land. After accumulating some experience, China invested 6.3 million US dollars in 2016 to expand the planting scope of the project to 8,200 acres. According to reports, the rice harvested this time is of high quality and rich in potassium, calcium, iron, zinc, selenium and other trace elements. Seeing this, many people will have a question, rice cannot survive without water. As we all know, it is difficult to store water resources in desert areas. 
So how does China solve the water problem for rice? Through the map, we can clearly see that the Yulanbu Desert has a very unique geographical location. It is close to the Yellow River, the mother river of China. This means that if China can divert water from the Yellow River into the Yulanbu Desert, this arid desert will become rich farmland. It is based on this idea that China has built multiple artificial lakes and irrigation channels, forming a complete water conservancy and irrigation network. In addition, Chinese scientists have also developed a technology called ecological water retaining sand. It is understood that this technology mixes plant seeds with special water retaining agents, fertilizers, and soil conditioners, and sprays or lays them on the desert surface. After this operation, the survival rate of sea rice is not only improved, but also wind and water erosion can be prevented. More importantly, this technology can save 70% of water consumption while improving soil quality. While solving the water problem for rice, Chinese scientists also adopted an innovative photovoltaic planting technology. This technology mainly uses photovoltaic panels to absorb light, thereby lowering the temperature of the land and reducing the evaporation of water. In addition, it reduces wind speed and prevents the movement of sand dunes, ultimately encouraging plants to take root and grow directly under the photovoltaic panels. What is even more surprising is that China not only grows rice in the desert, but also uses rice fields to raise fish. As far as I know, raising fish in rice fields can not only reduce insect pests in rice, but also increase soil fertility, ultimately improving rice yield and quality. At the same time, farmed fish can also bring additional sources of income to farmers, indirectly improving their economic benefits and living standards. In today's world, many countries have been troubled by desert problems, especially Dubai. Dubai is located in the United Arab Emirates and is a city rich in oil resources. However, Dubai's desert occupancy rate is as high as 80%, which makes their food production very difficult, so 80% of their food needs to be imported. In 2016, Dubai learned that China had successfully developed agriculture in the desert and sent a request for cooperation to China. From the beginning, Yuan Longping's team encountered many difficulties in Dubai and even faced failure several times. The main reason is that the desert in Dubai is close to the equator, which makes the weather in the desert very bad. For example, the maximum temperature reaches 50 degrees Celsius while the night temperature drops to below 20 degrees Celsius. In addition, the climate here is not only very arid, but also relatively low in humidity. What's more, Dubai's desert soil has a loose structure and cannot retain any moisture. In order to solve this problem, China sent more than 100 scientists and a large number of professional agricultural machinery to Dubai. Subsequently, China trained Dubai residents to teach them how to solve water and soil problems. Then, Yuan Longping's team conducted two stages of experimental planting in the tropical desert of Dubai. In the first stage, Yuan Longping's team not only achieved success, but also cultivated rice with a yield of more than 500 kg per mu. However, Yuan Longping's team was not satisfied. They realized that despite the success of the first phase, the rice was not fully adapted to Dubai's desert environment. In order to find rice varieties more suitable for the Dubai desert, they selected more than 80 different rice varieties for small-scale planting and cultivation. This is a long and meticulous process. After five months of careful cultivation and observation, the rice finally matured. Surprisingly, the yield per mu of these rice reached 900 kilograms. This was an unprecedented achievement before growing rice in the desert. Scientists in Dubai are therefore very excited and impressed. So far, with the help of China, Dubai's desert green area has expanded from the initial 10 square kilometers to 2.83 million square meters. Seeing the increasing green area in Dubai, 
Saudi Arabia also decided to extend an invitation to China to plant 10 billion trees in Saudi Arabia's desert areas and convert the desert areas into agricultural land with the help of desalination and irrigation technology. In addition to Dubai and Saudi Arabia, other countries in the Middle East, such as Jordan and Lebanon, have sent invitations to China, hoping to cooperate in introducing seawater rice technology to increase their country's food production. As the problems of global climate warming and desertification become increasingly serious, greening the earth has become a top priority. In this process, I believe that humans will overcome the harsh conditions in many desert areas, turn wasteland into fertile farmland, and make our ecological environment better and better.